Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloryTutors.com and welcome to this video on conjugate acids and bases. So in this video we're going to look at uh, what a conjugate acid is and what a conjugate base is and we're going to look at them in terms of some chemical equations as well. I'm going to start by looking at some generic ones and then some very specific ones as well. Now for this video you need to know what an acid and a base is. So if you're not sure on the um, the definitions or what a bronsted lowry acid base is in particular, then if you just click on the link below and you can find the video there to do with acids and bases. Okay, so looking at what we mean by conjugate. Conjugate is basically trying to pair up um, a set of acids and bases together. And most acid-base reactions um, are in equilibrium, they're reversible. So um, this can be quite important and this is what we need for uh, conjugate acids and bases. So what we're trying to say is that actually acids on the left of a reaction will always have a conjugate base on the right. So it's linked with it, it's associated with it. Uh, and it's formed, in other words, them two can form an equilibrium backwards and forwards. But like acids on the left can have a conjugate base on the right, uh, bases on the left as well will also have a conjugate acid on the right. Um, and so we're going to uh, identify them and show you um, how they work them out. But the most important thing really is you need to know what bronsted lowry acid and base is. Uh, bronsted lowry acids are proton donors, they give up protons, uh, and bases are proton acceptors. That means, they, that means they take in protons or they accept a proton. So I've got a generic equation here um, and I've colour coded it to help you to see uh, what's an acid and what a base is, but it's relatively straightforward once you get your head around it. So uh, all the blues on this board are representing acids and all the greens are representing bases. So you can see here we've represented an acid as HA and you'll see that quite a lot as well. Uh, and if we react that with water we'll form H3O plus and A minus. Now we need to identify uh, what the uh, pairings are, the conjugate pairs. Now you can see here this is an acid because we've colour coded it in blue. So this acid will give up a proton to water to form H3O plus. Uh, and it will form a minus. Uh, now this is a base um, because this will accept a proton from H3O plus to form um, your HA, which is your acid back again. So actually the pairings is the acid and the base that's come from the same molecule. So in this case, HA and A minus, these are a conjugate, these are a conjugate pair. So this HA, and that's the base. There's the conjugate acid on the left will have a conjugate base on the right. So it's got to come from the original molecule though. That's really, really important. And obviously the other two that is left, which is the conjugate base on the left will have a conjugate acid, and that is these two. And it's pretty much as simple as that. This is accepting a proton from HA to form H3O plus, and this will donate a proton to A minus to form HA. So it's all kind of linked together. And that's basically how you'd identify a conjugate acid and a base. So looking at a specific example then, so a specific example could be a hydrofluoric acid or HF. Notice this is aqueous, all acids must be dissolved in solution for this. Uh, and we're going to react that with water and we'll form H3O plus and F minus. Again, we're going to colour code this in the same colours. So our acid, what we're looking for is which molecule is giving up the proton. You can see HF has clearly lost a proton here. So HF is actually acting as an acid uh, and your water will be accepting the proton, which it is, to see, for forming H3O plus. And so this is acting as a base. Now on this side, F minus would accept a proton to form HF. So your F minus, because it's a proton acceptor, would be a base. So we're gonna keep that in green. Uh, your H3O plus would donate the proton and that becomes the acid. So in terms of the pairing, the pairing is actually the same as the one at the top there. So uh, HF and F minus are conjugates and H2O and H3O plus are conjugates as well. It doesn't have to just work with acids as well, we can do exactly the same with bases. Uh, we represent a base as B, um, so it's B with aqueous next to it. Reacting with water to form BH plus and OH minus. Again, using the same colour coding, this is a base uh, and there's the acid. So the conjugate pairing is pretty straightforward. It's them two, there's the conjugate pair there, and these two are the conjugate pair. That's the acid and that's its conjugate base. 
that's linked with it on the other side of the equation. So you'd say it's pretty straightforward. It's not actually too bad. And um, the last one though um, is you might see this if your syllabus does uh, nitration uh, or benzene or anything to do with that. The first step in a nitration step is to uh, react sulfuric acid and nitric acid together. This is concentrated acids. Now, when you react these two, these are obviously have the word the word in the actual title of them is an acid. But when we react both of them, one of them is going to act as a base, which seems a bit odd. And this is where it actually uh, works quite well. You can see here, H2SO4 is reacting with nitric acid, HNO3, and that will form H2NO3 plus plus HSO4. So what you need to identify is your acid and bases, and then you compare them up. So you can see here the H2SO4 has actually donated a proton, because you see over here, this has actually lost the proton. Because H2SO4 has donated a proton, it's classed as the acid. So put this in blue. Uh, and your nitric acid, HNO3, has accepted a proton to form H2NO3+. So this is actually your base because it's accepted the proton. Now that might seem weird, even though it's got the term nitric acid in it. In this reaction, it's acting as a base. So just because it's got the word acid in doesn't necessarily mean that it is an acid. It really does depend on what you're reacting it with. Uh, so just looking at this on this side, pairing these up, so you can see this is HNO3+. Plus. This would donate a proton to form this. So this is a proton donor going backwards. Um, so this makes this the acid. Okay, and um, on the other side, obviously this is going to be the base because the bases are proton acceptors. This would accept a proton to form H2SO4. So if we had to link these two, um, your acid and base would link up. There's your acid and there's your base. They would link up as a conjugate pair and these two would link up as a conjugate pair. But you can see here that just because it has the term acid in doesn't necessarily mean it's an acid. You have to make sure you are following these rules of the bronsted lowry acid theories, uh, acid and base theories. But um, as you can see, it's not too bad. Just make sure you keep an eye on it and look out for them protons. That's it. Bye bye.